Today I'm going to Castle Wolverhampton where there are uh, four new 150 kilowatt chargers. So I'm going to see what rate I get. It's currently seven degrees outside and I'm going to use my ODB monitor. She's going to be plugged in down here. And cart scanner to monitor the battery temperature. Which runs on my Android uh, tablet. This is the car scanner app running on my uh, tablet. So I'm just going to connect to the ODB over Bluetooth. And then in the dashboard. You've got loads of different screens and the one I'm looking for is battery temperature. Hundred and fifty kilowatts. Chem power. And today I'm going to pay with a card. Right, currently getting 47 kilowatts and the battery pack is 7 degrees. Difficult to see that. Now up to 67. 70, I can hear the uh, battery coolers come on, 71, 76 kilowatts, yep, battery pack temperature is going up to 8, you see that, yeah, so the, if pre eating was working we wouldn't have that, it would have figured it out. Also note, uh, Kia's database doesn't have this charging station in yet. Stuck at 76, pap temperature is 8 degrees. Uh, the pack temperature is now up to 10 degrees and we're up to 76 kilowatts rate but I've still got the snowflake on the old uh, internal battery meter.
I mean, the battery's getting warmer now because the uh, speed has ramped up. We've gone over 100 for the first time and we're at, uh, where are we? 46%. The battery's now uh, been at 21 degrees. So this is more like it. And the outside temperature's eight. But the uh, snowflake's still on in the battery meter, if you can see that. Right, 47% on the charger. Let's put 17 kilowatts in. Let's go back at the battery pack pen temperature. So many meters on the car scanner. Battery temperature, uh, the cell pack is 18 and 19 degrees. Um, still not ideal, um, and the snowflake's still on. And it would be, uh, it has to be 20 something, I think, for optimal. But we're getting 103 kilowatts, which ain't bad, but nowhere near the 150. <laughs> Pack temperatures nearing 20 degrees. Some 21s on the cell map. And the snowflake's gone off, so this should ramp up, you'd think. Just say the battery heat has been on 61, 61 degrees, so yeah. But it's still stuck at 103 kilowatts. Where am I? I'll let it go all the way to 80, why not? Pack's now really warming up. This should ramp up. I mean, 23 and 24 degrees. This should start kicking it. <laughs> Currently at 64%, 103 kilowatts. Um, it's been stuck 103 for ages. The pack temperature is all 25s and 26s. Um, you think now it's not a temperature constraint. Um, snowflakes gone off on the display there. It's very stubbornly stuck 103 kilowatts. I'm at 74% and I've got three minutes left. Um, my battery pack temperature is uh, the maximum is 20, no, it's 30, and the lowest is 26 uh, cell wise. So, um, battery temperature is not the constraint here, there's something else going on. So, or is it the constraint? It might be because it's too hot. In the end, we got from 27% state of charge to 80% state of charge in around 35 minutes. Uh, the charge rate didn't really speed up until 45% when the uh, battery heater had kicked in.
uh, up to 20 degrees um, we topped out at 103 kilowatts charge rate and the charger said 104 well that was that was a bit disappointing um, i expected better of that looking at the fastnet uh, ev6 300 kilowatts charge curve it should have done a lot better um, i mean once the battery heater was up i expected it to ramp up a bit but it didn't so it'd be nice to try this again in warmer conditions see if we get anything better as for the charging experience i had the uh, one failure on the first charger um, also i think i probably would have been better off using the app you get more information um, i couldn't see what my pence per unit was unless um, i need to mess with the charger more um, also i got pre-authorized twice yesterday and today and i still don't know how much i've got to pay so that's all a bit strange let's keep an eye on that 